Oh, jeez. Okay, hold. Oh. Okay. 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 I think I got it. Okay. There. <laughs> Is that better? Holy smokes, you guys. Let's see. Am I, am I here? Okay. We're going to try this for a second. Okay. Am I here? And can you hear me? I think I'm here. And I think you can hear me. No water for three days. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. You're in very. Oh, that's terrible. I fingers crossed. Hi, Kim. Yarny bestie. Oof. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? Because this thing right here, this screen right here is no bueno. I am going to just turn my face video off. And I'm just going to start crocheting, if that sounds good with you guys. Um, yeah, I will turn this off. But I'm going to show you what we're going to crochet with. And hi, everyone. I'm sorry if I'm missing anybody. I'm... Once again, I'm trying to get this whole <laughs> setup going. Okay. Hi, Judy. Okay. So I am going to use white, pink, light pink, and dark pink. There's those colors. Or there are these colors. I'm a hot mess, you guys. Which colors do you like better, the blues or the pinks? And I've got this um, right now. My computer is, is right there. I'm going to try to make it get white. There, how, how's that? Well, we'll just do this. Okay. So, hello, hello. Okay, I heard I like the blue, so we're going to do the blue. And let me show you. <laughs> oh, yeah, duh. That's what Kim says. I have Just Cotton Premier. All of these are the Just Cotton Premier I got a couple of years ago. And um, we're just going to start right in. I'm using a G hook. All right. No, I'm sorry. This is a K. This is too big. Hold on. Do I got another one over here. Ye gads. Okay. So I've got a, I've got a big Tunisian hook. Just know that I am not using the Tunisian hook. Yeah, me too. I'm still mad at them too, Kim. And I'm using a five millimeter hook. So, you know what? The typewriter background might be just fine for this yarn since it's white. Yeah. It's a bluey washcloth. That's right. Okay, so I'm going to turn off the face right now. And we are just going to have the yarn. And, uh... Da -da. Yes, Emmy. Oh, and it's awesome because I can still see the chat right here. Okay, so we're is this really oops, got it. A picnic blanket for her dolls. Yes. Why does everything look all messy? Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. It's not as messy as it looks. Okay, we're going to start off with the in-between color. So the in-between color here, of course, is the, the blue and the white. 
because this is the white is the light and the blue is the dark. So we are going to start with the with the we'll just call it light blue since it's blue and white together. All right. We are going to and uh, we are just going to do let's do five let's do five times seven so 35 we'll do 35 across one two three four five six seven eight Nine. Oh, Rosie, how did you like it? Ten. Did you like the Hobie Bingo? It is so much fun. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Four and 35. And then I'm just going to add an extra two in there for good measure. Because we, then we can always take it off at the end. Okay. Now, with this, we're going to be doing, you can do it one of two ways. You can do it where you cut off with every new square or where you put the yarn underneath and do some kind of like tapestry crochet. So we're just gonna go ahead and start. So in the second chain from the hook, we are going to single crochet and that and in the next five across. So one, two, three, four. You know what? Let's go ahead and do it seven. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah, these blocks will be better size. Seven. Okay, so then I'm not sure how you guys change colors, but this is how I change colors, especially when doing tapestry crochet. I'm going to keep those two on the hook. I'll set that down for a sec and get my, I'll start off with the white. Okay, so without cutting any yarn, you just wrap the white around your hook, pull that through those last two loops that are on the hook when you did that last, that seventh single crochet. And now in that next chain, we are going to, whoops. This is how I do it. Ah. I hold that blue. Whoops. The blue and the white right there and crochet over both of them. That's the end. And that's 
the white and blue yarn. Oops, looks like I missed a little bit. Hi, Samantha. Hi, Beth. Hi, Rosie. Whoops. I kind of messed up a little bit here. Sorry, guys. This this yarn is very splitty. Okay. Da -da. There we go. Okay. And then if you can see what I'm doing, I'm just holding those to the end of the white yarn and the blue yarn that I'm going to pick up in a minute. And crocheting it went underneath this single crochet. It <laughs> was it the universal sound. <laughs> uh, I'm not even sure what <laughs> what sound I made. Hi, Ivy. Okay, so we're just going to do oops. Seven stitches with the white. There's four, five. Hi, Angie. Hi, Ivy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, on the seventh one, Remember, we're only going to do half the stitch. And I always like to pull it over. So we're going to get rid of that white end. That white end is just going away for right now. You can see what I'm doing there. I have the two left on the hook from half of the single crochet. I pull the yarn over when I'm changing. And then... There we go. I changed the color of the yarn. If you crochet the first color change with the end, it locks it in. Learn that doing graph game, loving the colors. Oh, thank you. Okay, now we're going to crochet seven holding the white underneath. So one. And it's a little easier not having the two um, strands of yarn to hold underneath. Three, four, five, six. And we're on the we're going to be on the seventh. So this is going to be we're going to do half the single crochet, and then we're going to change colors and hold the blue and white underneath. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, and on the seventh one, we're going to switch colors. I'm going to hold that right here, but on this go around, or on this last seven stitches, I am not going to be holding the white color underneath. Just because I don't really need to. I'm going to be picking up that color again when I come back from the other direction. So we're just going to crochet these last seven stitches. Two. Three. Whoops. Once again, you can change colors however you want to, however you feel most comfortable. 
this is the way I feel most comfortable changing colors. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And so I, you can see that I have a couple of extra chains right there. I'll get rid of those at the end. I just really undo that and tighten it. So it's super easy. Chain one. We turn it around and this will just be able to clip off with the scissors. That right there. Okay, now go back through and single crochet in those seven stitches. So one, two. Hi, Shatika. Three, four, five. Did I say hi, Dottifer? If I didn't, I'm saying hi now. Because boy, I've been a hot mess. You guys, is um, is this coming in clear? It's not coming in clear on my computer, but I, I don't know. It's like always different. Change colors. And then now you're holding the blue underneath and Crochet white into those seven single crochets. One. Oh, no, it's blurry or no, it's not clear. Two, three, four, five. Oh, it's very blurry. Oh, geez. Okay. What is going on here? I have my Wi-Fi on. Okay, this is not good. I have my Wi-Fi on. Hmm. It's very pixelated. It looks clearer when my hands are still, huh? I wonder if, here, I'm going to try to do it. Hi, Deneen. Okay, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to try to turn this computer off and see what happens. Okay. Um, now to stream. Let's see. This one is going to leave the studio. Okay, leave. I won't be able to see everybody's um, comments, but I'm going to see if it is clear. Oops. Looks like I spilled some coffee. <laughs> Okay, does that look clear now? And if it does look clear, do I need to start all over again? Because I will start all over again. But if that is not clear, I'm gonna do something different. Hello. Okay, well, I'm just going to keep crocheting until I hear something. It's clear. Oh, it's not clear. It's actually worse. Hold on a sec. Is that, is it still worse? Here, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to end it. No, no, I can't end it. Hold on. That is so bizarre. 
Like, I never had this blurriness problem before. Is it still worse? Okay, now this is like n normally how it usually is. And let me log into my other one real quick. Sorry about that, you guys. Um, and I'm going to go back into my StreamYard on my computer. It, it's a lot blurry. I'm going to log in and log out. But first I have to log in on my StreamYard on my computer just so it doesn't lose the whole stream. Okay. I am going to... Which one is the real one? That is very that blurry. Is very blurry. <laughs> okay. No <laughs> stress. Oh, they are not. They are like crazy bad. Can't hear? Your audio, you're so bad. Okay, I am going to. Hold on. I am going to. Nope, nope, I don't want to do that. Uh oh, uh -oh. that just needs to stop. <laughs> no. It is totally I am sweating so hard, you guys. <laughs> it did sound like crickets in the deep woods. And yet I am still blurry. I can see on my computer that I'm super duper blurry. Can you guys hear me? Wait a minute. Leave. <laughs> oh, Michelle. Thank you. Okay, this one's going to leave the studio. Leave the broadcast. Leave. Okay. Now this one's going to enter. <laughs> okay. You can hear me. Okay. Michelle can hear me. Good. Oh, thank you. <sighs> Have any of you guys ever done gingham crochet? <laughs> like gingham style? Like to make a gingham? But I... <laughs> I just want to be clear. Okay, hold on just a sec. I'm going to see if... Okay, here's what's going on. Here's what's going on. It's not going to, oh, Bonnie, it's on the third row. Okay, um, I'm going to see what it does if I do. Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is awful. Okay, how's that? Okay, it's clearer. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, so this right here is... It's not as clear as normal though, right? This is like, um, this is my laptop camera. So I don't know what's going on. If I, if I try to log out of that one and log back in, I wonder if it'll be clear. No, because it'll end the broadcast and I don't want to do that. <laughs> Okay, you guys, <laughs> I'm glad I'm making everybody laugh. <laughs> okay, you guys are awesome. The clear one is quiet. Uh-oh, can you hear me? We could stream on my channel if this still is still happening. Okay, we'll see what happens. And tomorrow morning, if it's still doing this. <laughs> Why? Okay, yes, yes, you guys can hear me. Awesome. Oh, cool. You made the last crochet along bag. Awesome, Dolores. Okay, all good. Just, okay. You guys, you guys are the best. You are totally the best ever. Best people ever of all time. Should we keep crocheting? Should we keep crocheting the, um, watch me jigger? The gingham? <laughs> just That's right. I'm keeping it real for you guys. Oh, you guys, I was so high tech. I was going to be so high tech tonight too, because I have like an intro made. I have an intro made for my live videos. Couldn't figure how to get that on. Then this is going all askew. But that's okay. We're going to make a gingham washcloth. What? Oh, oh, Bonnie, Scrapped In is on Michael's site for Cotton Cake Review. Did you make it? That's really cool. Okay. <laughs> I will hold it up like this. Maybe left-handers will be able to tell exactly what's going on. Oh, that is so awesome. I wonder, you know what? I bet I can pull it up. I don't know if I can pull it up on my phone. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Angie. No, uh, Rosie, I'm not doing Tunisian, but when I started tonight, I didn't have the hook size I needed. I only had... The only eye I had sitting right around me was this eye Tunisian. So I'm just crocheting single crochet. The only stitch I'm using is single crochet. So um, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just regular crocheting with a Tunisian hook. And uh <laughs> This is so much fun. Okay, you know what I'm going to try to do real quick? I'm going to see if I can look up. Oops. If I can look up on the Michaels website. I want to see. I want to see Bonnie Scrap Gan. Oh, you gave up Tunisian? Oh, no. Um, where is, let's see, on the review, how do you look it up? Oh my God. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Yarn Fairy. <laughs> oh, okay, let's look up cotton cakes. So we are going to the yarn section yarn and needlework it's the most important 
Let's see, Karen. Karen Cakes. <laughs> ah! I don't know where to find the reviews. <laughs> Let's see, Karen Cotton Cakes. Karen Cotton Cakes. Yeah, I want to look at reviews. You know what? Every time I get this phone close to my computer, oh my God. Oh, geez. Do I have any mods in the room? And if you are in here, can you get the naked people off? <laughs> Please. <laughs> Hold on, I can't get them off. Okay. Let me see if I can get back over and get them off. Okay, there we go. Oh, block user. User is blocked. I blocked them. <laughs> oh, thank, thank you, Lulu. <laughs> Yay! Well, welcome, welcome aboard the crazy train. <laughs> welcome aboard the crazy train, Joanne, is all I can say. <laughs> Awesome, Michelle. Yay! Naked people. <laughs> well, this is why you would never ever want to put an open call in on your channel for people to come in because sometimes if they come in and there's a picture of them, I've heard they come on naked. They need some, they need some pixels. They want to watch a tutorial that nobody can see what the heck is going on. Okay. I think this, this is an award-winning tutorial for worst tutorial of all time. <laughs> I was having a party. Hi, Suzanne. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> Oh, what has happened? <laughs> Catherine, we are walking, working on a gingham dishcloth. It is a gingham, 100% cotton dishcloth. This is a very professional tutorial. <laughs> Yay! No, I, it, I don't give up. <laughs> Making supper, mm, butter chicken. That sounds really good. That sounds super good and listening. Okay, so you guys, if you've gotten this far, if you've stuck in, if you're working along with this tutorial, I am making a gingham 100% cotton dishcloth and you can change colors however you want to. You can do it like tapestry crochet, you can cut, and add the yarn, cut and add the yarn. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. There was naked people here. <laughs> okay, so if you've gotten this far, this is what we have of the gingham. We do, of each color, we do seven single crochets across and then seven single crochets up. So I'm gonna, make five more rows just like this and then we will change the colors crochet nudist oh karen that's awesome <laughs> yay lulu <laughs> you are just in time will you post the pattern rhonda i seriously i have got to get i've seriously i've got to get my hiney into writing patterns 
I just need to get a pattern template and do it. Why, well, thank you. Thank you, you guys. It is going on. The real magic happens when you start adding the other color and all the blocks start at, start adding up. And then, of course, once you get it as white as you or as long as you want it, then you just crochet around. <laughs> I, I've been told I would not have been made, I would not have made a good teacher. <laughs> so what are you guys doing tonight? How's your day? Are you guys having hotness in your area? I, I know Angie, you are because you're in, you're in Vegas, but it is a hundred degrees here today in Kansas. And that's hot in Kansas. Well, Catherine, it's just the regular single crochet. The only, um, the only, what makes it gingham is, is the pattern. It's going to look like a gingham, you know, like, like a gingham dress or gingham tablecloth. So it's just the, um, it's basic single crochet. 104. Michelle, that is hot. Yes, way too hot. Rhonda is 93 in Wyoming. Holy smokes. Like, it doesn't usually get that hot there, does it? 104. Crafty Girl Locks, 90 in New Hampshire. Lori, maybe the naked people are just trying to keep cool. It's so hot in England, they had to keep... They had to close a road because what? The wait a minute. The road started melting? <gasps> wow, like that asphalt? Jeez, only 81 at the moment. Yarn fairies having a cool spell. Oh, I bet Christina hot in Kentucky. Not usually. Let's see. Rhonda, are you in Wyoming? Yeah. Hot, hot, hot. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's unreasonably hot. Hi, Annie. Hi, Catherine. 89.6 in Calgary. Yep, nothing in that part of the world is built for such high temperatures. Oh, that makes sense. Crafty Girl Locks. I hear they had to close some airport runways because they were melting. Ooh, the planes just couldn't land. Our asphalt has been buckling from the heat in Utah. About two hours from Denver. Rhonda, okay. Wow, I have never heard of uh, asphalt melting. Jeez Louise. And I mean, I lived in Phoenix. I went to Phoenix every summer, but I guess they know how to make the roads right there. So <laughs> they won't melt. Jeez Louise. I wonder how you have to make it different. And England has no air conditioning. Oh, and I bet it's really humid. I bet it's super humid there. Oh, I would die. <sighs> Whoops, I grabbed the wrong one. I grabbed the wrong one. There we go. I saw the buckles, but I didn't know where it was. Live in Vegas. I party every day. <laughs> 109. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, that's what I thought. That's what I thought, Angie. You're just in Vegas partying every day. Oh my gosh. We don't we don't need any naked hot hot people. <laughs> Ginger, it is a different tar to rock grit ratio. 
uh, parent. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Michelle, north of SLC, Ogden area. Salt Lake City. Okay, this is going to create me sound crazy. I have been all over the West Coast. And I've spent a couple of summers. Um, I've spent most, well, most every summer in Tempe when I was a kid. But we, I did. Um, my dad worked for the Indian Health Service for the Bureau of Indian Affairs. Because um, we are Indian or Native American, and um, we are Kiowa Comanche, and he, I believe, tribal budget manager, so he would travel all up and down um, in the western states and um, manage budgets, uh, but he was in the Salt Lake City area for a while. He was in Reno area for a while. And Tempe, his his uh, base, base of operations is in Tempe. And then uh, we went up to Seattle for a while too. Hi, Kathleen. Michelle is in Roy. Let's see, is that... Is that in Colorado or is that in Utah? So anyway, um, spent a summer in Salt Lake City. 95 in California, someone in England couldn't get to Paris because they stopped the trains because of the heat. Oh. Utah reported them again. Thanks you guys. Thank you so much. So uh, has anybody gotten a chance to go to Hobby Lobby and see any of the new yarns for yourself? I went today and I'm working on putting up a video for new Hobby Lobby yarns. There, are, there were a lot more new Hobby Lobby yarns this time I went. And I think they have most of the new yarns up. There were... Still quite a few spaces that weren't filled, but for the for the most part, they were they were good and filled. There's lots of lots of cool new yarns. I wanted to get them all today, but I couldn't. Oh, and you guys, guess what? See how I don't know if you had a chance to see that it's a little cleaner in my yarn room back behind me. room. Willie's room, his old room, because he moved up to Anthony's when Anthony got his apartment. And it is 108 in Lawton, Oklahoma. <gasps> Lisa, I was born in Lawton, Oklahoma. No joke. Oh, son got his passport today. Hobby Lobby, here we come. Now, how far do you live from a Hobby Lobby, Deneen? Because, man, those 30% off weeks are worth it. Well, and, of course, the 70% off. <sighs> yes, went last week. Going back tomorrow since it is 30% off. Yeah, you got to go on the 30% off weeks. Especially now since some of the prices, since a lot of the prices are, are going up. That's been, that's been sadness. Yeah, it is always good to... to be able to instantly find the yarn you need in your stash. I agree. You should see. I was I was clearing off my whole area for um for the tutorial this afternoon. Hi, Sunita. Hello, hello. Oh, Michelle was banned from Hobby Lobby until you use some of your yarn. Self banned. Ah. Oh. sad. <laughs> Whenever I self-ban myself, I always end up going and getting a lot more. It's absolutely ridiculous. 
Let's see, so far we have five rows. I wanna hurry up and get to the, the row where we switch color so you can see the gingham start to form. <laughs> Lulu, you said Santa and I was like, where? <laughs> I wanna see Santa. Okay, so we're in row five, and uh, now, who all has made anything gingham before? I have made gingham things. The thing on my, the shirt, the gingham pattern that's on my thumbnail is a shirt that I made a couple of years ago. And it was like, I had to use like two weight yarn. Michelle, I can't park my car in my garage from full tubs of yarn. <laughs> um, Lisa, he kind of does. <laughs> but I mean, you know, row, row six. Well, whatever, you know what? Bonnie, whatever gives you a square. If row six gives you a square, then go ahead and end that. And um, you'll want to start the next row with a darker color. It goes darker color, then the lighter, then darker, then lighter. But you won't use any white in the next row. Started, but never finished it. It's in a project bag some, somewhere. Yeah, but Casey doesn't roll his eyes at my yarn as much as my kids do. Although, lately, when Brandy, Brandy is my 30-year-old daughter who has, who has given birth to both of my grandchildren. Um, when she comes over, she's been looking at my yarn. And she really likes it. And she's been taking some. <laughs> Hi, Crystal. Mama Bear. At least until August for Hobby Lobby's dialogue clearance. Hashtag yarn enabler. That's what we all are. We are we are the yarn enablers of the world. <laughs> yeah, so. I have yarn walls in every single room. And uh, I'm figuring out ways to, to organize it. Hi, Kiwi. Hi, Wynette. Hi, Michelle. Oh, I, I've already said hello to you. I'm crocheting like crazy trying to use. Oh, 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 Michelle, have you ever made a scrap can? You can use regular yarn like to make a scrap can. Hi, Jane. Yeah, just, yeah. Oh yeah, they've been to Grandma Kitty's house. <laughs> Sunita, I have yarn from, I think the first Hobby Lobby clearance I went to was six years ago. And I still have yarn that I have not used from then. Hi, Maribel. Kiwi, did you and Kim? Oh, no, we didn't do a live yesterday morning. We do that on Wednesday. We're going to do it tomorrow morning. Multiple in scrap baskets. <laughs> no, Judy, we don't want to ignore you. <laughs> unless unless you i mean we can't ignore you we like you <laughs> we like everybody hi samantha happy crochet to all <laughs> oops <laughs> yeah my uh my husband thinks it's funny because because he doesn't like when he hears me in here talking to myself, he doesn't know whether I'm on a live or just like 
talking to myself like I normally talk to myself. I know, Michelle, we are so bad. Ooh, Wynette, a 12-point star blanket. I've always wanted to try one of those, but I never have. Okay, after this, I'm going to start changing some colors. See, we're getting that far. Did the colors show up very clearly? Oh, yeah, they do. I'm looking at it on my phone. Um, when I look at it on the computer, like on this computer screen right here. Hi, David. Good evening, Mr. David. Hi, Grady D. Hello. Oh, yeah, Kiwi, you got to go see who's banging around your kitchen. Hi, Lori. Yes, I talk to my yarn. I talk to my plants. I talk to myself. I talk to my kids. I talk to myself while the, my kids are here. Lisa will be making a trip to Georgia and then up to Michigan next week. Going to my mother's house to see if I can get some yarn again. Ooh. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> Boo -boo. Yeah, I got it. Even if we go over just a little. Judy, thank you. I can send you a comment, but I can't read them since a while back when my power went out. Oh, that's really weird. That is so weird. Hi, Chandler. Chandler rocks with yarn. Hi, Ed. Wynette says, I am on week three out of four at our home in South Florida. Oh, that sounds awesome. Carrie's visiting parents in Rochester, New York from Pennsylvania. Two years ago, I got five garbage bags of yarn from her, but it's all gone. Lisa, is your mom like my mom? Because if she is, that is awesome. Yeah, Susan, we talk to our yarn. Why not? Our yarn has feelings too. <laughs> At least I like to think so, especially the, especially the, you know, I don't know, just after they're around for a while, you just really get to know them. Okay, on the last row before I change colors and add the uh, the turquoise in. Well, hi, cat lover. Cat lover, it sounds like you like cats. And I'm pretty sure we all like cats too. I love cats. I only have one though because, I mean, we did have two, but Rick... Uh, Ran away one night and we have never been able to find him. Yes, yarn talks to us sometimes too, Lori. We're the only ones who can hear it. Especially when being frogged. Ribbit, ribbit. Kiwi, oh, it was your son who thinks everything must be done as loud as possible. Cat lover, you have five of them. My mom has five cats too. They are, uh, ooh, pink and turquoise. Beautiful. Right, exactly. That's how we know what to make. I know, Sunita, poor Rick. He was, uh, well, he's 14 years old. So, uh, what if he did go back to the old house? I should go to the old neighborhood just to see if I can uh, see him around the neighborhood. That would be crazy. We went to the animal shelter. Uh, gosh, we've been 
been back to the anima shelter three times and last time we went we thought we had found him but it wasn't <laughs> oh no <laughs> No, somebody said pink and turquoise. I think they were talking about pink and turquoise uh, yarn. But no, my cats are, or my mom's cats are rag dolls. Did I say my mom's cats are pink and turquoise? <laughs> that sounds like something I would say. Oh, is Tracy here? Hi, Tracy. Cindy has three cats. Although I think Penelope poops as much as three cats. I don't even know how in the world she poops as much as she does. Seven-year-old, a five-year-old, a mommy cat who is two years, and then her two babies. Aww. Yeah, Samantha said pink and turquoise. Beautiful. Crochet Me Pink. Love that name. I only have one cat left that grew up with my kids. There are no more animals. Oh, tired of the litter boxes. Yeah, that's... Until this, this apartment that we live in now, we didn't have to use litter boxes because the cats always went outside. They did, I mean, they wouldn't go inside. It was crazy so we we're like cool that sounds good okay so here's what's going on here i'm at the end of the seventh row i am not going to cut the white off i'm going to leave it kind of there um Two cats, Mooney and Marley. Okay, so now I'm going to change colors. I'm going to leave that white hanging there. You can, you can cut it if you want to. I might end up cutting it too. I'm going to get the regular turquoise. And change, do a color change. Oops. Hey, Bonnie, that's okay. Because it, it's not necessary that you um, keep your white attached. You can, you can either attach it or unattach it, but it's not necessary to keep it attached. Okay. Then I'm just going to turn around and keep my, the end that I just had from the, the turquoise thread. Hi, unapologetically mocha crochet and crafts <laughs> can i just call you mocha <laughs> we are working on a um what's it called a gingham washcloth mama bear joanne today i saw a bird nest box on clearance in the shape of a yarn ball with knitting needles that's cool Kitty, kitty, and stinkus. I like the stinkus. <laughs> okay, so now on top of the white, we change the yarn and we switch back to the blue. Or I'm sorry, the, the blue and white. Four hours to Hobby Lobby. Well, that's not, that's a long way. <laughs> yes, yes, okay, awesome, Mocha. I will call you Mocha. <laughs> the rest takes too long. It, well, unless you make a song out of it, but I'm not quite exactly sure what tune I would use. I'd have to think of a good one. <laughs> Okay, so can you see the gingham starting to form? 
So the rest of the gingham's easy, you guys. Working on a cat bed. That sounds awesome, Jane. I've always wanted to make one of those cat sofas. So the rest of the gingham pattern is super easy. You just go on in this manner, repeating um, rows one through seven or however long it takes you to make a, a square and then repeat rows eight through, what is that? 15, eight through 14. Um, yeah, you just repeat, repeat those two, uh, pattern, rows of patterns. <sighs> wow. That was some good talking. Mama Bear says, I picture Deneen entering her first Hobby Lobby. There will be a bright light and a choir singing. <laughs> Rosie said, I ordered my Lion Brand Santa sack mystery bag. Got the email an hour ago. I might get it this week. That is exciting. Oh, I know. I love gingham too. It's, uh, it's fun. It's fun to make. And it's, what's even funner is, is more fun is looking at it after it's, after it's all done. <laughs> Deneen says, I picture that too, Mama Bear. You're going to have to video it, video it for us. Will is also known as Little Cat Brownie Stomper. Oh, I'll give you three guesses as to why. <laughs> we used to have a dog that would eat. We called them the nerds on a rope. Ooh, got two bags. We'll keep our fingers crossed for you, Rosie, that both of them are different. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six. Why is that happening? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Something has gone awry. <laughs> oh, six or seven hour drive to your closest Michaels. Well, you guys, this is how far I got on the gingham. But maybe, hopefully, miracle of miracles, somebody got the gist of the whole thing tonight of how to make it. I'll post a picture on my Facebook group as soon as I get a little more of this done. <laughs> but anyway, it's past seven, so I'm going to go. But thank you, thank you, thank you, you guys, for sticking around tonight and for staying and watching and having fun. <laughs> Looked on Lion Brand website, but they don't seem to have them anymore. Oh, the, and just the empty bags for five bucks. Why, thank you, By Heart's Desire. Ooh, for that African cotton. You know what? Um, I don't, I can't, on StreamYard, right? Yes. Give a link. It, it won't be a clickable link, but I think you can still put it in the comments. I'm a pro. Yeah. Yarn Fairy has let me know about a super duper awesome website to order yarn from and she's going to put the link up for us <laughs> okay you guys i hope your water gets fixed soon oh night yarny bestie
Oh, yeah, that's right, everybody. Don't forget, we're an hour earlier this Wednesday. We'll be 7 a.m. Central Time and all the other all the other times and all the other time zones. <laughs> you guys have a good night. Mwah. <laughs>